Hello and welcome to Two Minutes of Anatomy. I am Dr. Donald Lozello of Championship Chiropractic in Las Vegas, Nevada. On today's episode of Two Minutes of Anatomy, I'm going to speak about the pectoralis minor muscle. The pectoralis minor is a triangular shaped muscle. It is located deep to the pectoralis major. Its origin is on the anterior aspect of the third, fourth, and fifth ribs close to the respective costal cartilages. It inserts into the medial border and upper surface of the coracoid process. The coracoid process is a hook-like structure on the anterior superior lateral part of the scapula. So therefore, the pectoralis minor muscle attaches the rib cage to the scapula. The concentric actions of the pectoralis minor muscle are scapular protraction and shoulder depression. It tilts the scapula anterior. It rotates the scapula about a coronal axis, so the coracoid process moves anterior and caudal, while the inferior angle of the scapula moves posterior and medial. The pectoralis minor muscle is also an accessory breathing muscle because it helps to elevate the ribs. The pectoralis minor muscle is innervated by the medial pectoral nerve vertebral levels C8 and T1. The brachial plexus, which is a network of nerves, runs directly underneath the pectoralis minor muscle. If the pectoralis minor muscle is hypertonic, it can place pressure on the brachial plexus and lead to a condition called thoracic outlet syndrome. Also, if the pectoralis minor muscle is hypertonic, it contributes to a postural fault known as upper cross syndrome or upper crossed syndrome.